Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, Cancer, let's begin up here because this is really the heart of your reading, okay? Um, so up here we have the Astro Dice and we have two uh, Angel cards. Now, We have the 12th house. Let's begin there. I'll just move them like this. All right. So we have the 12th house. 12th house represents some type of imprisonment, uh, loss, grief. Um, and the solitude that follows it, really. Um, uh, you could be in a period of reflection. You may have lost somebody recently and you are grieving over this loss. Um, this uh, house can represent our deepest thoughts, um, <clears throat> our innermost fears, um, secrets and... Uh, dreams of one's subconscious. It is the house of the unseen realm of shadow uh, and of invisible enemies, karma. Um, the twelfth house can also be seen as the house of reckoning since it, it, it's, it's here in this twelfth house that we review what we've done, uh, where we've been, and uh, decide where we're going to go from 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 there or from here. Um, we also deliberate um, through reflection on our strengths and weaknesses that are hidden from public view. Um, so, like this shadow work can be slow and long, and often uh, you may experience fear and pain with it uh, as you try to make sense of uh, of your life. Now, I feel like you're trying to make sense of a situation, actually. Um, and so you may be reviewing uh, the past uh, and what has led up to that moment. You could be reviewing your past going back and up to the present moment wondering if you've done something wrong or uh, wondering if you could have done something different. Um, there's a lot of mental and emotional turmoil here when it comes to a past situation that you wish to be set free from. Uh, not the situation, well yes, the mental situation the thoughts that surround the situation because I feel like somebody acted out of the norm and you're trying to figure out why. Somebody ended this relationship, walked away, um, and you want to know why. You didn't see this coming. Okay? But let me tell you that there's a much deeper issue for why that occurred. Now, understand that uh, there are times in our lives, circumstances, where we just can't come up with any sort of logical solution or reason. And really, this is the case for you. You can't figure it out. There's no logic behind what just happened or what happened between you and this, this person, why they just suddenly end it. You don't find the logic in that. So um, I would suggest that your way out is through the intuition. Okay? In When you cannot find a logical solution and it does happen, you know, more often than we think, we uh, then uh, should 
rely on the intuition to guide us through. Um, and this is what you need to do. If your intuition is saying, well, you know, something's not right here. There has to be something else or some other reason for uh, what they did because they definitely would have said something. They may even have said something hurtful. They would have tried to end it. But it, it's an ending that doesn't feel right. There's something wrong with this ending. Um, so I feel like you could be uh, looking back um, at the past to try to get help uh, for what is currently going on or to try to understand it uh, and in understanding it well in hopes that you know where to go from there you know in this case it, it's it's like you're coming up empty all the time um, and so uh, We have uh, Venus, and we also have uh, Sagittarius. Now, um, Venus, of course, we know this is a love situation. This is somebody that you're very attracted to. Um, I think that this person, you're trying to figure out maybe what exactly uh, they're feeling for you because uh, your intuition tells you one thing and their actions tell you another and it's very confusing. Um, Sagittarius, the symbol for Sagittarius is, uh, is, is about truth. It's about... Uh, curiosity and going after the truth it's like um, Sagittarius will value truth and honesty above all else and so they'll never stop questioning if if uh, they'll never stop questioning something um, that they can't uh, figure out you know um, It could be that with this symbol being here, you have a very strong desire to understand what, what made this person uh, do what they did. You're not going to sit back and take this at face value, and, and you shouldn't. You should rely on your intuition here and what it is telling you about this situation. And so, you know, uh, no, no surprise, we have this card here at the heart of the reading. We have you, uh, this is the Five of Swords, but it is, uh, it is f from um, a different deck that is, you know, it's like a combination of tarot and oracle. But this is wanting to be set free from all of those, those, those uh, all of this mental turmoil that's going on inside this person's head you know I feel this is this is you that that's got all of these questions and no answers it just it's like something doesn't add up that intuition is telling you something doesn't add up about this ending it doesn't feel right um, this person could be a soulmate um, it's like there was a standoff. Um, this person may have sacrificed this relationship for some other reason that you will find out about. <laughs> I have no doubt uh, in the future. Um, uh, but they realize in the aftermath, they will realize they've lost more than they bargained for. Because I feel that there's a very strong connection between you and this person.
um, somebody did something maybe they didn't really think it through but there was a deeper emotional issue for a decision that they took that caused you to be wounded here or that caused uh, them to wound you that caused them to end this but um, this uh, you need to know that this is a temporary energy okay uh, with with this angel it's telling you um, because right now nothing you seem to to do seems to work you can't find your answers this angel is saying be patient and wait for better times um, this angel is saying you may have experienced a stall or a loss and surely you have you know it's why the 12th house is here you could be feeling frustrated with regards to something you're trying to figure out and you just can't you keep hitting a brick wall this is this person's behavior why this ended why they ended it you may be feeling that something is very very unfair with this angel here and with justice sitting at the root you may be wanting an explanation i mean you're questioning this story with justice being here what is at the root of this what caused this person uh to walk away to say what they did to do what they did Aureus, um, or I believe it is pronounced Oriax, uh, is telling you uh, to listen to that intuition, to the instinct. And uh, through the intuition, this angel will guide you and show you the way. So pay attention to the uh, intuitive nudges or any intuitive nudges you receive and you're receiving plenty <laughs> i feel <laughs> so um this angel he rides a horse and he carries a staff with two serpents twined around the staff and this is the caduceus now he brings enlightenment and shows you how to live in harmony with another or with those around you now he uh, he says that when life uh, life's complications are beyond any logical solutions or sense it is then that you must trust your intuition your feelings so this is strongly indicated that this is what you need to do. This is a temporary energy. It is a passing cycle. You're in the dark, but you will be enlightened. You're in the dark and you're remembering. You have a lot of fond memories. Um, you are looking at or looking for the signs yes this is what you're supposed to be doing paying attention to the signs in uh, in a situation that seems to have gone dead because this there's a tombstone here that's in the desert so it's like uh, there was it's like no more emotion so it's like it's like it just went dry And so this uh, page is down on his knees and is looking and studying the signs, curious, you know, if, if, they, if, it, if they can bring it back to life or if it will come back to life in the circumstances uh, that we're in. And it's interesting because that page reappears, um, not just here, but here. This is renewed interest. And uh, maybe you're not sure 
uh, because of external circumstances that that you see you may not be sure that you can rely on this coming back to life but uh, with uh, with the Empress here next to the page of cups you need to listen to your intuition your intuition is telling you otherwise it's telling you that yes with that page of cups um, uh, you can bring this back to life that yes see there's a meeting there's an agreement that is going to take place um, this person uh, is uh, very very unhappy with the choice that they've made with the sacrifice that they've made and what they've lost and um, they uh, they will be back they are wanting to come back already. We see it here. The Two of Coins is uh, about settling something, um, a solution, fixing something, coming to some type of agreement. For whatever they've done, you will receive an apology. You will receive expressions of love. You will receive a new offer, a new promise in your future. It is coming. This person regrets what they've done. Um, <clears throat> I see them, uh, uh, this person, uh, is drowning in emotion I feel um, it's possible uh, that they see they went to the extreme here because of some emotional uh, issue and uh, on the other side of the coin because they're feeling very down they could be going to the extreme here also this person may have had several bad experiences that uh, and all of these negative thoughts keep them down. Um, looking back, they're looking back at the work they've done and the sacrifice they made here. And uh, they are wanting to restore the harmony. Um, this person uh, must also uh, take back their power because uh, fear is ruling them right now and stirring up a lot of emotions something uh, something didn't get off the ground and uh, and you are worried about the future um, but I I'm I'm telling you that this is temporary this is this is saying it's temporary this person will change their mind and come back and they'll come back with an apology and we see it here and we see it here here they are writing back into the reading with uh, that cup and that ace of coins um, coming after the one they let get away. I mean, they had their desire and it slipped through their fingers because of some deeper issue um, that could have been emotional but could also have been legal. I'm going to throw that in there. Okay, so there could have been some type of legal issue that they were dealing with at the time and uh, felt maybe that it was the best thing at that time to release you whatever it was they did whatever sacrifice they made because of their internal issues and external issues um, they deeply regret they realize they lost more uh, than they bargained for. And you, uh, you feel that, okay? Like, you don't feel that. You don't know why. 
but what you feel is that this ending just doesn't make sense. That, the, that this person's behavior, it doesn't make sense. And in this case, the angels are telling you, listen to that. Listen to your intuition and follow, uh, follow any of the signs I'm going to give you. Okay, because they're going to speak to you that way. So listen carefully and pay attention to the signs that are given and follow up on those gut feelings. So this person, this other person, they're very, very unhappy in their situation. And trust me, because they are going to, I mean, they could sit like that and, and drink down to the bottom of the cup of their, uh, of their emotions. Um, or uh, they can get up and change things. And they are going to get up and change things. And we see it happening here because they love you, because they value you. They value this relationship. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.